So as things start to open up in the U.S., people are talking a lot about, you know, working back at the office or what does that mean? What are the different ways of working? Some of us, this is an older conversation. And for others of us, we have an opportunity to rethink how it is that we live work life. And that is something that I've used my bow journal to map out a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean. Right now, I'm using a B5 Passion Planner journal to map this out. So one of the things that my office has been talking about is about workload. What does that mean? What projects do we have capacity to take on? What do we leave behind? We are undoubtedly strongly affected by what happened in the last year and a half. And I am just not, I just don't believe that we're going to be able to go back and all of our capacity is going to be the same. Our energy is going to be the same. Our desires are going to be the same. And maybe our priorities have shifted. Maybe we've all realized what work-life balance really means. Maybe we are disenchanted by the grind culture, especially in higher education. And I know that I personally feel like I don't want to go back to the hustle that I was doing before. I could. And honestly, there was a lot of achievement and stuff that came from that. And then the last year and a half, when things halted, gave me time to just like rethink like what am I doing this for and again I am very very lucky in that my job was able to be remote I wasn't an essential worker working you know in person uh, right away at the beginning of the pandemic but um, it really makes you rethink how we live our lives and what the options really are and when I think about my well-being and my self-care last year was rough and you saw my other video about planning through a tough time and I just really want to make some structural changes in my life again I am this is like my high horse I think that there's a lot of shift to the individual when we're talking about self-care when it really should be the structures and the system that take on some of the responsibility for making sure that we are all well and one of those things is workload and the responsibilities that we all take on and those are structural parts of our lives so this exercise was really for myself to talk about what capacity is trying to guess at what that's going to look like over the next year and what do I want to hold on to you've seen this time chart before but I did it again just to understand now with a new understanding of my energy over the last year how it might actually feel because you can see these dots and dashes on here and have like oh a hypothetical understanding about what my time is going to but we don't know how it's going to feel we, th we think that you know we're just ready to jump in because a lot of us were really tired and wanted to be around people and go outside again and stuff like that but I'm just waiting to see what happens when we start living life assuming that it can be like it was before and when it's not what our reactions are going to be um not being like a pessimist but I just when we go through what we go through I just am waiting to see what the change is going to be so in my time chart, I just put all my job responsibilities on the left-hand side and then highlighted chunks where it is really, really busy and present to my work and just put a line for where I'm like casually working on it, but it's not taking up as much time. And then did that for all of these things. And down here was my personal responsibilities. And I outlined the boxes where I'm going to be out of town because whenever I go out of town, that really messes with the energy and the vibe of what I'm doing at home and takes more energy than normal. So understanding like, oh, looks like September is just going to be a little tight. I'm going to need some space in November as well as March and then um, May and June of next year. And planning around that and trying to understand that before I take on anything else. I do them both together because you need the full picture of your life and not just one. And then on the bottom here, um, I did roles and I wanted to look at what are the different parts that I play. I'm sorry, there's just like little bits of hair on my journal because I have a side cut and I just cut it this morning. So it's just still shedding all over my book. Um, anyway, these are the roles that I play in my life and what I have structurally added into my calendar. And by taking on any more would mean that I would have less time for the rest of the stuff. So taking into account not only your responsibilities, but the roles that you play and what comes along with that. And the biggest impact on something like your mental health or your sustainable pace is to remove a whole responsibility 
or shift a role because then that is something that's completely off your plate. Otherwise, we're just doing what my friend says, pushing the peas around the plate. And, you know, we still have the same amount of work to do, but now you have to get creative about how you do it, how fast you do it, when you do it, when really we could just take the peas off the plate. So as things are starting to open up again, people are going back to doing programming, committees, and groups and organizations, I want to be more thoughtful about what I am saying yes to, what kinds of roles and responsibilities and structural commitments I'm adding to my life, because I don't want to go back to what I was doing before. And it's gonna take a lot of reflection and a lot of being true to this purpose and a lot of willpower to be honest with myself about what it is that I'm going to do. It's gonna be hard for me to cut stuff out because I've always been someone who loaded my plate up with a lot of stuff, but I am going to try my best. Wish me luck. If you have any tips, please let me know in the comments below or what it is that you are doing to help you figure out what you want your life to look like. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, whatever. I just hope that you enjoy it. You thought about something while you watched this. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.